Okay, good morning everyone. Morning, gay bro. Dennis, uh, Simon, Agnes. Good to see everyone here. Today, event is open to public. Uh, we have some uh, that in outside. Uh, we have uh, Wei Chiang, Sarah, Sarah, Sarah Jit, and then we have. Uh, Sadi and Sadi Chan. Okay, hi. Okay, welcome, welcome everyone to today's uh, Monday morning entertainment. Okay, so first thing first, uh, feeling better. Um, I'm not 100% yet. Eh. Like this morning I went for a walk. Uh, oh, I woke up the hill. Uh, I feel a bit twan. Uh, I feel like, like breathless like that. Not 100% yet. Uh, after just finish, just, just, just COVID, right? Uh, oh, I, I, my COVID is like three weeks already, but I still don't feel 100%. It's like, uh, they say there's this thing called what? Uh, what is that? Mind fogness, is it? Or brain fog, is it? I think I have. Uh, <laughs> I think I have. Seems like uh, brain fog. No, not enough oxygen to your brain or what? <laughs> okay. okay. Anyway, I, I went to see... Uh, 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 someone right, and then he he said, uh, yeah, it's actually inflammation in your body. Yeah, uh, so don't work so hard on your body. Uh, don't exercise too hard. You no, know, don't. Yeah, because it's inflammation, right? Yeah, so take it easy, lah. Okay, take it easy first. Okay, so and anyway, um, yeah, I want to appreciate everyone for uh, being here. We have like almost two hundred, one hundred ninety seven, one hundred ninety nine of you all right now. Uh, I know market hasn't been. Uh, very very exciting right now, you know. But I'm I'm thankful for all of you all who are here. Okay. Uh, how many was was here at the uh was 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 at the Meta Gem, Meta Gem. Uh, anyone? Uh, Rias. Yeah, some of you all took photo. Uh. actually, I was very very, uh, thankful for that event. Okay, not just because uh. Uh, we have an event there, but yeah, we get to meet people, we take photos, you know, we get to know one another and things like that. Like the knees, actually, I can now put some faces to the name and things like that. Because some of you all, I've never met you, all, right? The knees, I never met you before, right? Until that day, right? You know, uh, so it's good, right? Uh, Reyes also, I think I've never met you before. So it's good that uh, when we meet, at least we now know, hey, uh, this is you, you know? So, uh, Good lah, it's good. I will organize more, okay? But this time around, maybe we'll organize uh, SMT one, okay? We'll organize one SMT uh, gathering, okay? Who wants to uh, do an SMT gathering? Okay. I think there will be a lot of people. You need to find a, uh, a suitable place, huh? okay? Type me if you want to get, uh, you know, get everybody together. Like we used to get, do it every... Uh, Three months, you know, every three months we get food down, we get finger food down, we chit chat and things like that. But that was pre COVID, okay? And since COVID, uh, I think our, our number of graduates has grown. Uh, so I think now cannot do at our own uh, office. Uh, now, own office. Last time, I think we ran our event, at least 100 plus will turn up. Uh. I think now if we if we do one live event, uh, I think it will be more than 100 plus. Uh, okay? So anyway, we will plan for one. Maybe we do it Christmas or maybe we can do it like October, we see how, okay? I hopefully during that time, uh, uh, market will be better, okay? Market will be better than now, okay? Uh, there are good news, okay? And then there are about the market and then there are, there are still still uncertainty in the market, okay? Let's let's go through the market, okay? For the public, uh, welcome to today's event. We will, what we'll do maybe for the next half an hour or so, we will go through the market, we'll go through it slowly. And then um, after that, we will uh, go into the individual stocks. For the individual stocks, we will only reserve for the graduates. Uh, okay, so to make a distinction between graduates and not graduates. Uh. But anyway, graduates, not bad. We still got 124 of you all here today. Please like and share the post. If you, uh, if you are here, please like and share the post. Uh, so first thing first, whatever I share is for education purpose, for entertainment purpose. Uh, these are not advised to buy and sell. Type yes if you understand. Okay, these are not advised to buy and sell. Um, every week we do a webinar with graduates and um, yeah, so, um, but not advised to buy and sell. Okay, so let's go through the market first. I think it's a good time. Okay, last week we did one with the graduates, but I think today we will do a bit more um, 
spend more time okay to do on the market okay so first thing first let's look at nasdaq okay let's look at nasdaq the reason why i want to look at nasdaq first instead of uh the rest of the market is there's a reason okay i'll tell you later okay so let's look at nasdaq first this is the nasdaq market we remove all the all the this these things right all these things okay and then just do a plain simple chart okay this is a this is a daily charts okay this is a weekly charts okay of the market okay so um what we can do is since we don't have all the signals to buy and sell uh like like this you know this is a uh sell signal you know can I say turn from blue to red to sell uh this is using a trader's gps but since we don't have we will use some other indicators especially for the public okay for the for the non for the public usually for weekly charts uh candlestick turn blue red to blue will be a buy signal uh blue to red will be a sell signal okay by now all the smt graduate should know that yes if you understand this is position weekly okay position weekly is about uh maybe uh one year you know one year one year trend and then there's a position daily also okay so since we don't have that let's use ma okay for ma we will um use this ma and then from here we will see what is the trend right now for the market long term okay so for the market long term right now if even if we can use just two ma it's it's actually good enough okay so two two ma this is uptrend okay this part is uptrend and then from here onwards, it turns uh, downtrend. Okay, the 2040 MA turned down. Okay, the miss is coming downtrend. Okay, so uh, for the miss, since this is a weekly chart, that means your your um time horizon for this read of the chart, uh, for the read of the chart, the time horizon is about maybe six months to a year. Okay, six months to a year right now your view is right now is still bearish okay because it's looking down okay type yes if you understand the public if you understand can also type yes okay uh if you have something that is a system that is easier like you will not have exited here which is slightly late okay because by the time your candlestick turn where well, ma turn is here okay you have exited earlier you exited somewhere here lah, okay so instead of here you exited earlier which may be a good thing if you have a system but even if you don't have a system it is still fine if you don't have a system you will still uh exit uh here okay okay so one one year six month and one year trend is still down okay and then um next we can look at the this is the type next we can look at the wave the wave uh goes up and down so as the tide is going upwards, okay, it's possible that the wave go down like this. This part here, the wave go down. This part here, the wave go up. So even in a uptrending, there's possible to have swings, okay, swings like this, okay, where the wave go down, okay. So right now, this wave over here, it is up or down. What do you all think? Okay, at this point, it is up or down. Okay, it is. Up, okay it is it's is, it's not oversold yes or no it is not oversold okay oversold will be something like like this when it's here so right now it is over at this point okay so the uh weekly trend is still down okay right now okay daily charts okay let's look at daily charts right now so daily charts will be about three months okay three months or to about six months to nine months okay uh, three months to about nine months uh, that is the time horizon okay so let's go to a uh, swing again okay swing again so right now what's happening to the daily charts okay then now we are reading using ma's uh, to read the next three to uh nine months okay next three to nine months uh the other thing is up or is down or is sideways anyone up down or sideways okay so uh something very interesting over here okay something very interesting over here is uh even though the the trend is down right if you zoom in a bit uh, you can see that um it is not 
as down. Yes or no? Okay. What are the things to tell you it is not as down as, let's say, uh, here? Okay. Usually we use the same price. Huh? Let's say, example, the price here. When it was here, right? Versus when it's here. Okay. So imagine that. Uh, imagine when it was here. Okay. Here. Okay. What was the price is about the same, right? Okay, about one thousand twelve thousand, right? Twelve thousand versus now the price is also twelve thousand here. Uh. Okay, so I dropped slightly lower, right? What is the difference? Okay, now compared to here, what's the difference? Is number one, number one, when it was here, when it was here, that time, okay, when it was here, that time, uh, we have. Uh, a recent low. Okay, the MA are far apart. Yes or no? The MA are far apart. We have a recent low, and the it means the trend is strong downwards. Okay, versus right now, versus right now, um, the price is here. Okay, the price is here. So the MA com considered from from here onwards, ah, uh, from here onwards, and here onwards. You can see that the MA has closed up. Yes or no? Okay, this MA over here has closed up. That's number one. Okay, the MA over here has closed. The distance between the two MA has closed up. It means to tell you that the uh, the momentum downwards at, in May compared to the momentum downwards right now in July has slowed down a lot. Yes or no? Type yes if you understand that. So you just take a picture like, like, a, like a photograph. Okay, you take a photograph here. And then take a photograph here right now. It tells you that. That's the one, number one. Number two, we can see higher high also. Yes or no? Right now, we can see that this is a high, there's a oh, sorry, higher low also. Here is a, it's, it's a, it's a low. Here is a low. And here may be a low. So there are some sort of higher low as compared to here, right? When it was here, there was a low here. There was a low here. That wasn't a higher low. Type yes if you understand. Okay, so when it was here, there was no higher low. It's always lower low compared to right now. At this point, there is higher lows. Yes or no? There's a swing. There's a swing to this higher low. So what we can see is, let's start with NASDAQ first. Huh? What you can see is the downtrend momentum is reducing. Got it? Okay. We are not guessing about the future. Uh. We are just taking a photograph, taking a snapshot, and talking about the past. Do you all follow what I'm saying? Okay, we are taking a picture and talking about the past. Okay, but with uh, understanding of the past, then we can predict the future. Uh. Do you all follow what I'm saying? So another way of saying is when it was the clouds, uh, the clouds when it was here, is much darker than the clouds right now. Do you follow what I'm saying? But does it mean that it will not rain? No, lah. okay, but it's an educated guess. Do you all follow what I'm saying? That's number one, okay? So the clouds here, come the clouds here, the clouds here is not as dark. Got it? Second thing we can also see, right? Okay, let's remove everything. Second thing we can also see if we do a downtrend line, right? Okay, if we do a downtrend line from uh, this part onwards, Okay, we can do a downtrend line. We more or less can see that um, this channel over here, this part over here, this downtrend line. Uh, can you see the lower high, a uh, high, a uh, lower low, lower low? Okay, you can see the lower low, lower low here, right? But from here onwards, you can see that there's a break of the trend line. It's not uptrend yet. Yes or no? It is not a trend yet. Uh, it is more like a slight sideway trend. Got it? Right now, it's more like a side, uh, side, slight sideway trend. Okay. Is the uptrend ready? Uh, not yet. Still too early. Okay. But what you can tell is compared to the clouds at the 12,000 in May, now the clouds is less dark. Got it? Okay. So the next question is the next question is. So how do I know that uh, it's not so likely to rain now? Yes or no? This is the question. Now we know that the clouds are less dark. How do we determine 
I think the clouds is blowing over that side already. It will not rain already. How do we know that? Okay, we let, let's, let's make a guess. Okay, how do we know that the clouds is more likely to blow that side and then less likely to rain right now? Anybody can guess, can put in any, any, any idea also can, okay? Uh, okay, we have Chris. Okay, say cross MA, good. Okay, what else? What else? Cross MA, uh, reducing volume. Volume is uh, quite... Um, um, yeah, what well, possible? So, what else? What other way to do? What other way to uh, look at? Uh, maybe it can be a more like um, how to say, a more objective way. Uh, a more objective way of looking at it, because some of the thing can be uh, not so objective. Why? Uh, okay, some of the way can can be not so objective. Example. Example, if you cross MA, it can be here. Uh, it, it still cool down, okay? Uh, reduce MA also, things like that. Uh, what other things can be a little bit more objective, okay? More sure, la. okay, more sure, okay? Anyone? Uh, cross MA, we cross once already, okay? Cross another time already, okay? Uh, 12,008. Okay, good. Uh, I think these are all correct. Uh, by the way, these are all correct answers. Uh, not wrong answers. All correct answers. But I will think at least for the next... Okay, so the, now the context right of this read uh, is the next three months to nine months. Next three months to nine months read. Okay, it's not a, a one more than one year read. Okay, this is the more, next three to nine months. How do we know, know that it's going to turn more bullish if it turns more bullish? Uh, is if we start to have higher highs. Okay, right now we have higher lows, right? So we have like low here, we have low here, higher lows, right? Okay? But the higher are still about the same. Yes or no? Okay, got it? Okay, the high are still about the same. So we have a higher low, but we still don't have a higher high. The high right now is still like over here. Uh. So I will think that the price need to increase, uh, need to increase with volume above this level, uh, around one to one to one, 12,180. Uh, okay, above, if it close above this, like this, then we can say that, hey, maybe the next three months, will not be as bad as the last three months. Do you all follow what I'm saying? Okay, that means once this happens, going forward next three months will be better than the previous three months. Do you all follow what I'm saying? Okay, if this happened, if there's a close above 12180, then we can say that, hey, uh, next three months may have a better outlook. Got it? But is it fully out of the downtrend yet? No, la. okay, I don't think so, not so fast, okay? So, um, any question? Any question? Uh, so these two are 20 and 40 MA. Okay, 20 simple moving edge, 40 simple moving average, okay? By then, right? By then, by then, all these things should happen, okay? By then, uh, we will, should have higher high, higher low. By then, the MA should cross also. The, the, two, the red line should cross the blue line, cross above the blue line also. By then, um, there will be volume also. Okay, so that these are some of the indication of chain of trend. Okay, uh, by then, there will be a longer term trend line that may also be broken. Okay, so... Um, Let's not anticipate, okay? Let's let's wait and see. Okay? Let's not anticipate, okay? So if it happens, then it happens, lah, okay? Got it? Any question? Okay, so this is NASDAQ. NASDAQ is like a bit forward, uh, okay? A bit forward in the market, right? So, uh, but if you want to talk about the long term, okay, now we're going to weekly charts, right? For long term, I think we are still not out of the wood yet, okay? That means for long term, one to one week to I uh, one um weekly charts, right? Even if it rallies, okay, even if it goes up uh, above here, it can go up, 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 up from here, right? It can go. Let's say example, it close above 1,180, right? 1,180 here, uh, roughly around here, right? Even if it goes up, 
Okay, even if it goes up, when you reach here, right, this part, there will be another challenge again. Okay? Do you all follow what I'm saying? Okay, it's also in the price goes up to here at a few weeks, uh, it can go up, up, up until here. When it reach here again at 13,000, ah, then we'll maybe another pullback again. Do you all follow what I'm saying? Okay, so this, when this 12,180 broken, right? It's maybe for a, maybe one month to three months up. Okay, that, that will be the thing. After that, there will be still another uh, pullback again. Okay, for it to be out of the woods, right? For it to be out of the woods, I think we need to consolidate a lot more. That means for it to go up here, you need to pull back down, form a lower, lower, a higher low, form a higher low, and then slowly, slowly go up. That, that will maybe take up to end of the year. Okay. So far, making sense. Any question? Uh, type in the question. If you have question, um, if you understand, type uh, good. If you understand. Okay, any question if you don't understand? Okay, great. Okay, so um, that is the, I don't know whether it's good, good news or bad news. Uh. That is the news. Uh. We want to see what's going to happen going forward. But I will say that it is possible to trade from here to here. Uh. Here to here on the index uh, is around 10%. Already, okay. So uh, it's a good trick if you are talking about index, okay? Okay, next, let's go to S&P index, S&P index. S&P index, same thing, okay? We have the uh, MA sloping down, okay? The price right now is neutral, okay? Neutral, and then daily charts, Daily charts, uh, we have a uh, price going down this way. So if you compare NASDAQ and S&P index, NASDAQ is actually now stronger, okay? So what does it mean? Okay, question, uh, if S&P index compared to NASDAQ, right? NASDAQ is more like tech and uh, more growth kind of stocks, right? S&P is more like the blue chip kind of stocks, right? So right now, NASDAQ is outperforming the S&P index. So what does it mean? What does it mean? Okay, that means that it's a little bit more risk on already. Do you all follow what I'm saying? That yes, if you understand, there's a bit more risk on compared to uh, in May already, okay? So if we were to go back to the cycles are uh, uh, i think we don't go to the cycles uh, but if you if you see right if we go to recession in the early recovery right what is the first to recover what are the first sectors to recover we haven't even go to recession yet uh, okay but let's say example you go to recession right and we're going to recover what is the first to recover banks and tech stocks and growth stocks do you all follow what i'm saying okay in the future in the future okay not now by the way, do you all know what sector now is strong? Not, not in the future, now is strong. Do you all know? Healthcare, very good. Healthcare, lah, okay? So if you all have been doing your scanning every week, you every day, you should know uh, healthcare is actually strong right now. Yes or no? Okay? Healthcare, 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 healthcare. Can you see? Oh, a lot of different healthcare are uh, strong right now. Yes or no? The sector is strong right now. Healthcare is like a uh, more defensive. La. Yes or no? Okay. More defensive stocks. Okay. So you can see uh, quite a lot of healthcare coming up. Okay. Uh, utilities, actually, I don't really see a lot of utilities. Uh, um, not yet. La. Okay. Maybe later part. But right now, a lot of healthcare sector are strong. Okay. So that, that's, not, that's not what I'm talking about going forward after recession. If there's a recession, uh, after recession, the first one to recover is um, um, it's going to be tech stock and healthcare. Even if we don't go to recession, even if we don't go to recession, if risk on again, 
if risk on again, what will recover first? You all know what's risk on, right? If people become risky again, what will be the first to recover? Same thing, okay? Tech growth will come back, same thing, okay? Do you all follow what I'm saying? Oh, so that, that is what is uh, the read right now, okay? Okay, um, I think we want to also rewind back a bit more. It is for the long term, okay? Uh, for NASDAQ, because this is for public, right? I think we need to paint an even longer term picture, okay? Uh, into monthly chart, okay? Monthly chart. So in the monthly chart, right, we can see that um, when the price is, monthly chart, uh, NASDAQ, uh, monthly chart, when the price is, below the MA, okay, when the price is below the um, blue line, okay, can you see here, price is below the blue line, price is below the blue line, when the price is below the blue line, we go into like a recession, do you all follow what I'm saying, okay, example will be like here in, here, that, will, that is what year, that is in um, 2008, Call the what? This recession is called what? Global financial crisis. Yes or no? Okay. Global, global financial crisis. Then before that, there was a, a crisis over here. Uh, 2001, after dot com, there was a crisis. Got it? But yes, if you understand. So the blue, the, the, when the price crossed below the monthly chart blue line, uh, then we go into like a recession. Okay. And recession is long. Okay. Recession is not short, can be last for years. Okay, like one year, two year kind of view. That's recession. Okay. In my view, okay, that is only my personal view. Okay. In my view, in my view, right, we will not, that means this MA here should hold. Okay. We have the we have the uh MA here, here, here. Can you see? So what we can what I can see from here is is the uptrend strong or not? Let me ask you a question. Do you think the uptrend is strong here? Strong, lah, okay? Very strong, okay? Compared to, uh, compared to when it was here, okay? Not strong, lah. do you follow what I'm saying, okay? Not strong, lah, okay? So you see the MA is so close together. Yes or no? So close together. Compared to right now, it's so far apart, okay? But saying that, uh, Saying that, uh, is it possible that we go through like a dot com like that? Okay. Uh, this is the dot com bubble, uh, dot com like that, and then finally collapse. Possible. But if you do fundamental, uh, um, what do you all think? Dot com era, the fundamental, and right now the stocks. I think fundamentally we are not that uh, expensive. Uh. Do you all follow what I'm saying? Compared to the dot com era. Okay. Okay. So in my view, Long term, uh, long term, we are still up. Okay, long term, we are still up. Uh, long term, I'm talking about here is more than one year. Okay, more than one year, we are still up. Okay, that means when they print money, it's very hard to stop printing money. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I think we 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 go to the different time frame already, right? Um. Oh yeah. By the way, um, just just uh doing a bit of advertisement here. Okay. Um. For those people who are interested to be part of our community, you can go to uh, this link, okay? This link over here, and you can join us for our next webinar, okay? Join us for our next webinar, where I can share with you how to use a system, okay? How to use a system to buy and sell. So it will be something like this, okay? To tell you buy, when to buy and sell, okay? Like this is a sell signal, this is a sell signal. Right now, don't have sell signal, okay? Weekly charts also the same thing. Okay, we have a way to actually tell you when to buy and when to sell. Okay, like example, this is a sell signal, this is a buy signal, this is a sell signal, buy signal, sell signal. Okay, so this is using a system to guide you through a trade. Okay, so if you're interested to find out more, you know, um, you can go to this link, okay, colinsell.com slash SWP. SMT graduates, you can type in SMT. If you recommend SMT to those people who are not in SMT. Thank you, Simon. Thank you, Chris. Like, okay. I also don't know what to do, okay? Uh -huh. 
Okay, so later I got present for our SMT graduate. Later, okay? Because I don't want to look like a bright. Okay, later I got something to give you all. Real present, okay? It is like uh, this present over here, okay? Okay, uh, this present over here. Okay, quite cool, right? Uh, uh, later I'll give to you all, okay? Not all, uh, not all. Uh. <laughs> just, uh, just, okay? Okay, late, later, uh, it's a hoodie and also a t-shirt, okay? Uh, and this one, this one is my t-shirt. Can you see? This is my Milton 8 t-shirt. Okay. Hey, very hard to get one, no? Because one 8 uh, can only buy two t-shirt and two hoodie. Do you follow what I'm saying? Okay. okay. But I got one. I got some. Later, I'll, 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 I'll give, give some of your Okay. But let's, let's wait for our SMT graduate meeting later. Okay. So, uh, how about? Uh, do auction. Okay, I think later. Okay, let's let's finish up first. Okay, let's finish up. We're also excited. Okay, good. Let's finish up. Uh, S and P. Uh, S and P index done, right? S and P index done. Uh. Okay. Um. So long term is still down. Not sure yet. Okay. Uh, daily charts also not sure yet. It's still down also lah. Okay, still down. Okay. No, no, no uptrend yet. Got it. Still all still downtrend yet. No, no uptrend yet. Okay, but if it uptrend ready, if it's uptrend ready, I will be first one to do a public webinar to tell, hey, we are out of the woods. Okay, uptrend ready. Okay, but right now it's still down. Whether is it uh for the next one year weekly charts is still down, or whether for the next three months, six months to nine months is still down. Okay, I wish it was up, but it's still down. Okay, okay. So uh, next thing for Hang Seng. Okay, let's go to Hang Seng Index, right? Hang Seng Index. Hang Seng Index actually uh, more interesting. Yes or no? I've been talking about Hang Seng before already. Yes or no? Okay, I've been talking about Hang Seng uh, before today's meeting. Okay. In fact, I've been sharing, hey, actually Hang Seng it is quite interesting. Okay. If you look at the weekly charts, uh, the low was in March. Okay. There was a low in uh, May. Okay. And even in this low in May, right now we are in July. It's still higher than the uh higher than the main and higher than the march got it can you all see that that yes you can see that okay so here in march in may and july right now even with the yes last week the drop right is still higher than the march and may drop okay that's first this thing okay um for hang seng okay next for daily charts <coughs> you can also see that um is trying to is trying to break out of the uptrend, uh, but I, I think not yet. Uh, okay, so how to know that you will be out of the uptrend again? I think um, if you don't use this, uh, you can you must have some kind of break of the uptrend line, maybe retest, then go up, then will be up uptrend. Uh, okay, so if not, then uh, now is a I feel it's a good time to accumulate. Uh. you can accumulate here, you can accumulate here, you can accumulate here. Since March, you can start to accumulate. Okay, even if you accumulate earlier, okay, if you accumulate, let's say in February or January, I think you'll be accumulating at good price. Yes or no? Okay, you'll be accumulating at good price. And another thing is um, news uh, is always lagging. Uh, okay, so news, whatever news you read uh, is always uh, slow. Uh, okay, in fact, cryptocurrency already. Uh, by the way, do you all know that? You all know uh, that some of the cryptocurrency has formed new uh from higher high already. Oh, even though the news is bad, uh, okay, news fatigue, right? A lot of news is bad, 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 bad. Uh, if it's 1300 already from the low 800, now it's 1300 already. Oh, so it can it's it went up quite a bit already. Do you all follow what I'm saying? Okay, so uh, don't read news, uh, news very confusing. Uh, okay, so next, um, so Hang Seng index, um if you talk about value this year, I think Hang Seng Index or Hong Kong stock is still the place to look for value. Okay. If you talk about growth, still US. Uh, okay. But if you talk about value, I think Hang Seng will be more of the value stocks. Okay. Uh, next, we go to uh, STI. STI very uh, boring. Uh, okay. But, but at least we still have our strong, not 400, yeah. Yeah. Okay, thousand four, eh? So fast. Okay, so um, 
if we are talking about um STI, uh, STI at least the currency is too strong. Yes or no? How many still holding STI since um when was that? Two two thousand twenty. Like me, you're still holding. Okay. Okay. Uh, by the way, uh, every year you still get dividend. Yes, no, about 3.5% every year just for holding. Okay. Just for holding. But some of you all, you all follow the webinar, right? You've been holding since then. Uh, continue hold up. Right now, we are back to about 20%. Okay. Still, still okay. Uh, right now, we are still in the, mid in the midst of recovery. Uh, okay. If you ask me, uh, Colin, will we ever, uh, will we in this cycle drop to this low? I don't think so. Uh, okay. I don't think so. Okay. So uh, right now, actually, it's already quite, how to say, quite, quite jala already. Okay. In, the, in, in terms of the sentiment. Okay. Um, that's for uh, weekly chart and daily charts about the same. Uh, weekly charts. Uh, STI, uh, in my opinion, is more for buying bank stocks, REITs, that's all, okay? Nothing much interesting to buy, uh, okay? You talk about the other stocks, uh, uh, I would suggest to buy US stocks, okay? And bank stocks and REITs, just buy and hold, don't buy and trade. That yes, if you understand, okay? Just buy and hold, okay? Just buy and then hold for dividend, that's all. Don't go and trade, okay? Same thing for REITs. Uh, by the way, the REITs are just buy the, the most biggest market cap REIT. Don't go and buy the small market cap. And those growth stocks, penny stocks, avoid, okay? Avoid, avoid STI, mid cap also avoid, okay? I tell you all, with the same amount of money in US or in Hong Kong, you can find much better company with much better trend, much better business. Uh. Do you follow what I'm saying? So no point trading Singapore stocks, in my opinion. Okay, don't, 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 don't trade Singapore stocks. It's also expensive, yes or no? Expensive to trade Singapore stocks. Eh? Singapore stocks right now, what's the commission? Even though the commission is down, uh, it's still expensive. Uh. 0 0.2 huh? or 0 0.18. Or, I don't know. Last time, my time is like 0 0.3. <laughs> Okay, I think now it's 0 0.25 or something, 2, 2, 2, 0 0.2. It's still expensive, lah, okay, compared to uh, uh, US stocks, okay? US stocks, one trade can be like $10, okay, or $20, okay? It's US stocks, uh, let's say you talk about 0.2%, uh, uh, it's expensive, lah, okay? It's still expensive. Lah. Or IFAS got flat rate 8%, 8, uh, 8 dollars, uh, but they, I think they make money from elsewhere, lah. Right, they do AUM and things like that also. Okay, anyway, um, for trading, uh, um, better use, uh, uh, trade other countries' stocks better, okay? Not Singapore stocks. Okay, so uh, that is my view on STI. Um, right now, we are mid-recovery, okay? Mid-recovery, uh, still recovering, okay? Still recovering. Um, Any question on the index? Any question on index? By the way, uh, do you all know, right, that Ron Buffett say, right, that high inflation is good to buy stocks or not good? Ron Buffett, right? Actually, it's good, no? Okay? Why? Uh, why is it good? Think about it. Why is it good? Actually, uh, if you think about it, the not good thing, right, is to do what? The not so wise thing uh, is to do what? If you have high inflation, over time, uh, the not so wise thing uh, is to keep keeping it in cash. Do you follow what I'm saying? If you keep keeping it in cash, uh, it's not so smart. Why? Because you, your, 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 your bar told me, sure, go out uh, next year. This year compared to next year, go out. If, if, if you got cash, I uh, better buy a property or buy a stock. Do you follow what I'm saying? Okay, at least you can collect dividend and things like that. But if you keep it in cash, uh, next year you will buy less but chop me already. Next year you will continue to buy less. Okay, it is it's confirmed, okay? Okay, it's confirmed. Okay, so actually now is a good time to deploy capital, okay? Deploy capital. Of course, not, don't 100% all in now. Yes or no? You, should, you, you still need to have liquidity for daily expenses, for emergency and things like that. But what some people do uh, is 
like that, you know, that means they say, call it, well, now recession, cash is king. Then what they do is they 100% in cash. This, in my view, is not wise. In my view, it's not wise, okay? Type yes, if you understand, they, for, they, they, they sell everything, they sell their stock, they sell their crypto, they sell everything, put everything in cash, put in the bank. Not smart, lah. Do you follow what I'm saying? Oh, this recession is coming. Put everything in cash and, and don't, don't invest. Okay, not, not so smart. Okay. At the end of the day, you still need to manage it like a portfolio. Do you follow what I'm saying? Okay. Maybe if you say, okay, now risk off, right? Then maybe you can put some more in defensive stocks and things like that. But you should remain invested. Lah. Or you can, maybe you want to have some more percentage in, in cash, but you should not have all in cash. Got it? Okay, you should have opportunity to get in. Actually, now it's opportunity, right? but if you keep 100% in cash, right, then even if the, if the let's say example crypto, right, from Eric, if I go for Eric, you say, okay, then I keep in cash, I think it will drop to 500. Then now 1,003, you miss out a lot of opportunity. Do you all follow what I'm saying? So if let's say you have uh, some in if some in uh, cash, uh, when the price go up, you still can buy. Do you follow what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, this is my opinion. Uh, I may be wrong. Okay. So uh, that's my view. Okay. Uh, next, let's go to any other index. Want to take a look? Okay. So if not, then um, okay. Let's do A fifty first. Uh. Okay, so comparatively right now, comparatively right now, if you compare the US market with Hong Kong market with STI, right? It is like that, okay? So uh, even though the news may not be so positive, if you ask me right now, um, if you see Hang Seng, um, Hong Kong, sorry, China market already, Form bottom in May already. Yes or no? Very form, form bottom in May already. Okay. So if you want to long term, then value, right? Hong Kong, China. Hong Kong, China, that is the market to look at. If you want to buy value, that is the market to look at. Okay. You want to risk on, that means you want to go into tech, you want to go into thing. Now, now I don't think it's the time yet. Okay. Uh, if it turns, let's say, example, the next one, three months outlook turn positive, you want to trade, then US market is still the place to go. Is that clear? Does it make sense so far? That means if you are long-term, you don't want to monitor one, uh, Hong Kong, China, still the place to put, dollar cost averaging, just buy, 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 just queue for long-term. If you want to trade now for the next three months, now not the time yet, but if the time turn up again, then you want to look at the tech, uh, US market is still the place to go. Okay. Okay, if thousand four good lah. Okay. Uh, I think you go to high, higher even. Okay. Uh, I went into term D five. But me, if you know, I moved some of my NFT right into D five. But me, if you know, some of you all know, some of you don't know. Okay, a lot of you don't know. Never mind. Okay, but I I moved quite a lot. Not quite a lot lah. A percent, uh, about thirty percent, uh, into DeFi, okay. So, uh, DeFi is risk on, uh, okay, uh, and things like that, okay. But DeFi is highly risky, uh, okay. <laughs> okay, I, I was outside of DeFi for the uh for at least uh eight months already. I'm no more in DeFi, and then not just about ten days ago, one week ago, I go back into DeFi, okay. So um, anyway, DeFi is dangerous. Ah. So it, next time got time, then we talk about this, okay? So um, let's go back to China market. Any, anything else? For China market, if you want to uh, look at to trade, then you need to wait for the break of the trend line, pull back to retest the trend line, then go above, then count. Okay, now not yet. Ah. Okay, not, not yet. Okay, uh, Malaysia market, FBKL. Hey, what's the code? Huh? FB.
Someone help me. What's the code for index? KLC. Oh, uh. What's the code? FBM. Uh. Is it? Ah, it's like that. Okay. Okay, since the 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 politics finish, uh, since the what's that uh, the event? I think the politics, end of politics, uh, you have mixed, you have um hit new, you have uh, not visit this low already. Okay. So right now, same uh, I think will be similar to um Singapore market, but in terms of currency, I think it is not good. Uh, oh, in terms of currency, it's weak. Uh, okay. So if you've got money, if you're Malaysian, got money, uh, the choice is to buy Singapore stock. Why? Because if you look at it over a long time, right? Singapore currency always appreciate over Malaysian currency, right? So if you just, just buy Singapore currency, if the stock price doesn't move, you also make from currency already. What's the exchange right now? 3 point what? 3 point, uh, 3 point, I don't know, 3 point 1, something like that. 3 point 2, right? you see? Keep going on. So if you are Malaysian, uh, then better. Last time hit three, uh, like, wow, big news. Yes or no? Oh, like everybody's going to change. Okay. Last time you hit 2.5 also. During my time, one. Eh. Okay. Or one, 1. 1.2, right? Okay. So um, that's the challenge. Uh, you trade Malaysia stocks because it's priced in Malaysia dollars. Uh, Malaysia ringgit, right? Okay. So um, any other index? Let me see. Okay. So how will one position yourself right now? How will one position yourself right now? Okay. Um, inflation is still the big thing. Yes or no? Like, yes, if you understand, like we still have the inflation number and it's still, a, it's still a big thing. But going forward, because market is about forward, right? Inflation will continue to be high or low. I think will drop really. Do you all follow what I'm saying? That means the 9.1 may be the peak. Really. Do you all follow what I'm saying? Oh? So if the inflation numbers drop, then likelihood they will not be so pressure to wow. Now they are pricing a hundred basis point increase, right? So they will be not so pressure to wow. I need to turn off my tap so fast. By the way, the tap uh, it is not very tight. It is just very tight because we have very low inflation in the past. Tap. Tap we are talking about here is the money flow. The, the, the turning of the tap, that this tap is not very tight. Do you follow what I'm saying? There are still, there are still uh, money flowing. Okay? It's just that they, recently the rate of turning, closing the tap is faster. Okay? But let's say when they see the inflation slow down, they will not be so pressured to turn on so fast. So that is actually bullish. Do you all follow what I'm saying? That is actually bullish because so long as they maintain, right, the money don't flow, uh, the inflation don't run away, and they slowly turn off the tap uh, or turn close the tap, uh, stock market usually goes up. Do you all follow what I'm saying? Stock market usually goes up. So that is the thing. Okay, so then, um, yeah, so with the supply, supply chain already resolved, right? So recently we have... Uh, uh, China opening up, yeah, there are still COVID cases and things like that. But supply chain, if you see the numbers, are uh, 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 is smoothening already, get back to normal already. So shipping rate also uh, okay already. So right now, uh, the time there was the um, the so inflation and things like that. The only thing left is what. The only th thing left is what. The only thing question mark is what. I feel uh, the only thing left for a, 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 a spark uh, will be the war. Do you follow what I'm saying? Not so much of the war war itself, but war causes what? Co war causes you to have like sanction. And the inflation uh, in a way is caused by the sanction. Uh. Do you all follow what I'm saying? Correct or not? You say, oh, you cannot supply oil and things like that. That's why it costs everybody's price to go up. Uh. Can of course, you cannot say, oh, don't sanction. Uh. But frankly, if you ask me, right, uh, once this sanction is off or the war is gone, then everything is back to normal. Do you all follow what I'm saying? People are back to 
spending money going back to business. Do you follow what I'm saying? So uh, I think these are the things to watch out for right now. Okay. Oil prices has been coming up or down. Oil prices has been coming downwards. Huh? Okay. Oil prices are coming downwards. Okay. Actually, if you ask me, oil prices are comparatively uh, is not high. Okay. It's not high. This is US or oh, uh, ETF, ETF for US dollar. Okay. Uh, US oil. Okay. So right now, price is over here. But even if you look at the futures, right? Oil is not high. Nah. Yes, no. Last time, oil used to be $150. And $150 is like how many years ago? $150 oil is used to be like um uh how many years ago? Used to be like 2007? Is it 2007? 2007? I think crude oil is around 2007, right? Okay, good oil futures. Okay. So uh yeah, 2007, right? Or 2008, sorry, 2008. Okay. So we are nowhere near there. La. Yes or no? We are nowhere near $150. Okay, right now we are $94. But for the last how many years? So in 2008 until now, okay, 10 more than 10 years, right? We have uh, we have inflation, right? yes or no? We have inflation, right? so we need to count in inflation also. Got it? Okay. So I think should be able to absorb, right? oh, even with higher oil prices. Okay. So um, the inflation is down, commodity, commodities are down. Okay. So that will also mean that going forward, inflation numbers should be down also. Got it? Okay. I think uh, let's call it a day for the public. We we'll go and look at our, our stocks right now. Okay. So uh, for the public, come and join us. I don't think there's a lot really, really public here. But um, if you all want to join us, it will be at uh, this website, colleagueshow.com slash SWB. Okay. SWB. If not, then uh, come and join us in our secret society. Okay. So if not, then just say bye to uh, those in the public. Then we go through our portfolio. Okay. <laughs>